Hey everybody, I am SimSweetie, and welcome to part either 28 or 29, I'm not 100% sure. I want to say 28. Pretty sure it's 28, but it might be 29. Of uh, Let's Play The Sims 3 Generations. Okay, so a couple of you guys were suggesting that Channing gets the garage because it's not currently in use, and I thought that was a really great idea, so I went ahead and did that. And then I was watching Life Simmer's video today that she just posted, and I, I decorated his room on Saturday. No, Sunday. Because it was after I filmed all those videos, which was a lot of fun. Did I just like... No, I didn't. I thought I left a curtain there with no window. It's alright. Mm -hmm. Cheers for me against my desk. It's making noises. Yay. Okay, anyway. So I did that on Sunday, and then I just came home. And today's Tuesday, obviously. And I was watching her video, and she said she's going to let Penelope have the garage. So please do not blame me for copying her, because I did this on Sunday before I knew she had any plans at all of letting a child have the garage. Okay, now here's the backstory behind how Channing got the garage. So he was sharing his room for Tucker for his, like, for, for his whole, well, he's been sharing a room for basically his whole life, you know. Because even when he was at military camp, he was probably sharing a room with some other military inmates what i don't think that's the right word but soldiers that doesn't even sound right but whatever and he went over to juliet and he's like can i please have my own room the garage not the garage isn't in use can i have that and juliet was like well we're low on money right now so i guess if you can supply all the furniture you need then go right ahead so channing went on like websites like craigslist ebay he went to garage sales he got anything for as cheap as he could. He did makeshift thing. He just, he tried. He really did. So here is what he came up with. Ahem, <clears throat> choking. That, that was attractive. If I can come over here. Oh my gosh, why am I having trouble? Okay, here we go. So I'll just show it from the top first because I think it's easier to see that way. Here is his new room, aka the garage. And I'm just going to go down here. So he has this bed right here that has, somebody just like screamed it. I'm going to close my window because children are screaming. So sorry, I am back. Okay. But here's his bed. It's from his university life. It's just this like metal Murphy bed and these end tables that are, I went with like a metal theme because I feel like that tends to be like, not, doesn't, it kind of looks more ghetto and cheaper. I don't know. Maybe that's just my thought. And I want it to look like he just, he tried, you know. And then there's this little counter area right here with a mini fridge and a microphone. A microphone this is a microphone a microwave and a picture of a hot chick right here from 70s 80s 90s stuff I don't oh yeah I put a mirror right here from late night a laundry hamper but of course and another picture from 70s 80s 90s and over here we just have the university life couches that are like made up of crates a little fan and 70s 80s 90s small TV so I just kind of wanted him to have like a little pad where he could kind of just hang out and have his friends over, and, you know, it's it's nothing really special, obviously. That's, I, look like that. I kind of wanted to, wanted it to look a little bit ghetto, but, you know. So today, the Murphy bed fell on him. Oh, and promise today, Tucker, you cannot go to school. You need to find a date. So, don't do that. Don't go to school. You're staying home. Chris is late for work. Chris. Oh, he's eating. Go to work. I think you ate enough. He's elderly now. That's He still wants to woohoo with her? I'm sorry, no. <laughs> Everybody but free vacation. I don't I don't think we could handle that right now. I'm going to deny it for now, but we'll accept it later. Basically, all the adults would go out, but Willow is kind of in like the prime time of her life right now. I just don't think we could like... I don't think it would be very good to do it right now. Okay, you are getting up right now, and she's stir-crazy, isn't she? Yeah, she hasn't left the house in a long time, but I want her to get ready first, so I'll have her eat some waffles or something, spaghetti, whatever. Shower, um, put away the leftovers. Well, you better get out, like, soon. I really want him to get with Vicky, Vicky Abbott, because, um, who was just waking up? Somebody just got out of bed. Oh, yeah, we have to choose a destination. What's this place? No, I don't want to go there. Um, where's a good place? Let's just go here, whatever. Just to hang out, talk, invite her to prom. Okay, y'all need to meet some new friends. If you're at school. 
Work on the- oh, gosh. Gosh. Oh, you're busy? No! No! What is wrong with your face? Who else do we know? We have to know someone else. This is Hugo Simmer. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, we don't. Great. I mean, any girls. Laura, well, you're green. I'm not into the green people. Whatever, get to school. You're going to be late, but I don't really care because you're doing, like, really good. Oh, and I also did some changes to... What is that? Did anybody else hear that? That sounded weird to me. I don't know. But um, I did some changes to Tucker's room, too. Just kind of changed around the colors. So it's a sports theme. I know the bed isn't made, but I just... Whoops. I just did, like, some sports blue, green, and red, and then, like, this yellow wood... Something simple, because he's a really, really sporty, athletic kind of guy. Sporty, athletic, hunk, playa guy. He's a playa yo. And I pro- they want to woohoo with each other. Should we just do it? Oh, I forgot Willow's here. Willow, it's about time we should get up, actually. Go ahead, shower, and use the bathroom. What day is it? I think I am going to give her a tiny little makeover in this part, just something more business-like. I'm not sure. And how is your child doing? She's doing okay. The work for the work, the, the children for Juliet should be here in, I don't even know what time does work start. Oh, you don't have it today. She doesn't work on Fridays. Okay, that's that's nice because I was going to say, not really in the mood to take care of a bunch of children. And after you do that, I really want to have 10 seminar. I guess so. I mean, that's fine. We need money, so. Yeah. We'll invite Deng to visit. Yay. Use the bathroom. Come on. You, are you doing something productive? Well, kind of. I want you to clean the whole house, though. I know, you're like starving to death. Please don't die on me. You... I don't really care about your school performance. If it was like Tucker or somebody, yeah, I'd be caring, but yeah. Come on, girls. Girls. I feel like I should probably clip out, but then they're gonna get out of school in a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna invite Dung to visit. Yeah, okay, they'll arrive tomorrow at 9 o'clock. So that'll be the weekend. That's pretty good. And I want you to listen to a photography tab cast, because did we do anything else? Just kidding. What skills do you need for your logic? Okay, well, we'll, we'll start lur lurking. Well, we'll start lurking on logic soon. We'll start working on logic soon. She has a lot of skills, actually. This is kind of cool. Um, we have to have her start working on martial arts soon. I don't know if I said, but I'm going to have Tucker work on martial arts, too. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, because he did a little... Didn't he do it a little bit? What? Why is... Oh, I clicked on... I'm clicking on this. I'm like, you cannot woohoo on this thing, obviously. She's almost done with this painting, and then I want... A horse just ran through our backyard. Just a normal day in my sim's life. Finish up that painting. Oh, Chris is coming home from work. Well, that's a pretty cheap painting. You've got to be getting your skill up there. Like, please... You are painting, like, crap paintings right now. Where is your painting skill? See, you're almost like, um, Channing Levine. <sighs> no, because you, you have prom today, don't you? I'm pretty sure it's today. Rosemary, I don't know who you were. He met, oh yeah, Chantel aged up. I totally forgot to tell you guys. Chantel, the girl she was babysitting, she aged up. They're just, what do you have? You have sports club. No, you have to, I know, you have to leave today, which is, which kind of sucks, but get out of there. Why aren't you going out? Well, looks like I'm gonna have to reset him. Reset Sim Tucker Levin. Oh, why is your mood going up? No, bad. Bad cheat. You glitch. Eh, why can't I type anymore? Hold on. Okay. Ladder was about here. Hygiene was about here. Hunger. No, okay, you weren't that hungry. And social was about. Okay, now your hunger was more like here. I don't know. That was a guess. 
<laughs> you, you, you. Oh, cool. She's level five photography. You really, 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 really need to invite her over because we need, 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 need to get her to prom. He's so cute. I swear he is. He looks just like Chris. Alrighty then, Vicky. Alrighty then, woman. Ooh, it's a rainbow. Where do you live? I know where you live, actually. You live... You're not home, though. I see. You are not a teen. Come on, we need somebody to take a prom! Because Selena aged up. Come on, guys. Why don't we know anybody? Did you age up? Even Deanne. I was about to settle for Deanne. I'm not settling for the green girl. I'm sorry. <laughs> Invite her out, whatever, in the pouring rain, if that's what you're into. Oh, look who's home. Oh, man, I didn't get to click on him. We need to go somewhere. Let's just invite her over to the library, because we need to go somewhere inside. Oh, did you want to go to the library? Oh, no, you want to finish a book. Some, I don't know who you were either. Oh, that was a strange noise. Whatever, I'm dragging up your relationship a tiny bit. I know, I'm a cheater. Woo! And invite her over. We'll just pretend they had a past relationship. Maybe when they were small children's. I could punch you in the face right now. Oh, fine. I'm dragging it up. Invite over. Come on, guys. Oh my gosh! Invite her out. We need to get her to come over here. And I'm not kidding. And invite her to the library. Come on. <sighs> well. Then I guess I'm going to drag the relationship back. Get rid of that. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, let me see here. I'll be right back, guys. I'm just gonna figure something out. Well, I did not quite get Vicky here, but I did get the next best girl. Okay, I have to move my laptop right now. It is in the way. Okay. Anyway, it involved, like, switching households. For, it was it was quite difficult, but I finally got it done. And, it, but we got Regina Abbott here, who was gorgeous. And she's, like, the popular girl. So, I feel like Tucker and her, they're already attracted to each other, so they're just, they're perfect. So, we're gonna go right into the romantic acts. I don't know what I was gonna say. I, like, hiccuped, and it would turn out, like, as well. So, we're gonna ask her if she's single, ask her sign. And this is Maya Abbott's daughter. She has three daughters, and her husband just died. I'm kind of in love with the Abbott family right now, because story progression has added so much, so much. So much depth to them. They've added so much depth to, the, to her, to them. Why are you, like, making faces over there? I really hope you guys are all taking care of yourselves. Will you please stop doing that? Thank you. And go pick up your daughter. I would appreciate it. So now I want you to ask about her age. Ask about her career. Ask about her gender preference. Get to know her. And then I want you to flirt. I believe she's flirty, so she should like that. Whose phone? Please tell me. She's one day younger than her. That's perfect. You've got your daughter in your hands. Go ahead, change your dirty diaper, I suppose, and feed her in the high chair. And you may stop doing that. And you may go do your homework. Actually, let's go ahead and prank. Oh, no, we have to go to prom in a minute. So do your homework. Nope, 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 no, no, not yet. No, don't. No, 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 no. 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 All better. <clears throat> I got it fixed. Which involved wishes being canceled again. So, yeah. He should be going to prom right now. So we're going to flirt with her in the rain. Ask her to prom. And then we are going to, oh, someone's having a party over here. Oh, I don't know you. Okay, I don't feel offended. Go to prom. 
He's a triplicator? I don't know what that is. Well, you got a problem with me? He's already in the limo. The limo took off with us. I think you're dreamy. I would love to go with you and make all the other students envious of us. Um, excuse me, you're not going in your athletic wear. Don't get any ideas at all. Cheating. I know I'm evil. I don't do, I do this like once every like 20 episodes. So just shut your face. Thank you. And it's mostly just the things I get OCD over, like Sims being in their formal wear or not. Thank you. Okay. You, that is, oh, I just bumped my cat's box. Oh, you didn't get in the limo. You got in a lame car. Well, you are attending prom with Regina. I think Regina is a really nice name, actually. I'm really interested in Regina, and I think Tucker is, too. They're, I think they're kind of perfect for each other, just saying. Oh, my gosh. He has a limo. Of course he would get the limo. What can I say? What can I say? Oh, you, you're soaking in your little little taekwondo outfit over there. So why don't you take a shower and then work on your painting skill? Oh, someone sell that. Okay. He just went to prom. How cute. Cute, cute, cute. Wait. Oh, that's a stupid glitch. The sim stays at the house even though it says they're at prom. Why is everybody in the apartment down here? That's not acceptable. Please, no. Uh-uh. No, thank you. You need to get up here. You're actually really, really tired. So I would say eat like a piece of cake and then do your homework. Yeah. And then go to sleep. You may not ask for a bedtime story if someone's in that shower. No, 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 no. Someone's in that shower. Go ahead and take a bath. Oh, he's prom king. I'll read all these in a second. Just hold on. Oh, that's Bryce's bed. Duh. Sleep here. And you... Oh, great. Bryce is beginning to feel a bit ill. Where are you going? No. I know. Just actually, you're not that tired. You could go take a bath. Take a bubble bath. Okay, I'm just gonna actually don't take a bubble bath. Take a shower. I'm gonna set up some interactions and then I'll be back. This is taking way too long. I am now back. <gasps> How? What a perfect time. Tucker was showing off his smooth moves, and Regina asked Tucker if he wanted to go study. Of course, we're gonna say yes. I mean, come on. So I'm gonna go ahead and read these now. I'm gonna go back to number one. Tucker was deemed ruler of the school. Prom king, prom kings never looked so good. He can stare at his crowd every day for the rest of his life. Find it in his stare at his crown, not crowd. What am I talking about? I don't know anymore. Somebody who we didn't know died. Channing wanted to set a booby trap, but Channing saw chaperones everywhere. I don't think that would stop Channing if he was real. No, thank you. Um, yes, he's romantically involved. Channing decided to ask a loner classmate to dance because he felt bad for him. Instead of thanks, he threw... He? It's a little weird. I think it probably should be she. Oops. Because, you know, he's, he's not really interested like that. But, um, you know, it, it's alright if he is, but no. That's not him. Okay, what am I talking about? Is somebody, like, really late to prom? Nope, there's just a green woman walking. Oh, is that... How much you want to bet that's Natalie? That's Natalie. She's still alive and kicking. You're the paparazzi. You came to prom. That's how good our prom is. Um, anyway. Tucker and Regina snuck a kiss right behind the punch table and everybody's already clapping. That's so cute. I'm, like, gonna cry. That is so cute. It's so cute. That's so cute. I love it. He has first kiss at prom. I'm, like, crying right now, guys. I'm not even kidding. Channing is really charming LaShonda. She hasn't left his eye the entire evening. He likes LaShonda? I didn't even know he was romantic with LaShonda. Look, she needs a little makeover, but I'm not going to say she's hideous. She is quite good looking, actually. With I would probably dye her hair, because I don't really like the blonde with her skin tone. But I think she'd be really pretty. What is that? What just happened? Somebody, what happened? Someone die? What happened? Um, Tucker is really charming. Regina. 
Oh no. Channing felt like taking out his aggression on a nerdy cast classmate. Channing was in for a surprise when the classmate fought back and embarrassed him in front of the entire school. Well, hopefully not LaShonda. I'm kind of like in love with the fact that he's loving LaShonda right now. That is so cute. But he got in a fight. He was denied for a dance. That really sucks. He has his first kiss, first romance, prom king. He's having like the perfect prom right now, honestly. Um, okay. Oh, Chris finally finished expecting multiples. Tucker and Regina were the dynamic duo of the dance. Everyone was copying their moves and checking out their style. There's definitely some chemistry there. Channing, steal Channing steeled his nerves and asked that m attractive sim for a dance. He almost cried when he got rejected. Channing, what is wrong with you? What happened to your swag? Um, Tucker and... Oh, that already popped up. Yeah. I'm thinking he probably asked, I don't know, someone like... Maybe, I don't know. I, I was going to say Vicky, but since they're sisters, he probably didn't. Oh my, Channing just spotted a three-eyed eyed llama. Help. Yeah. I think we're definitely going to have to get him with LaShonda. Because she has a perfect name, first of all. And she's not ugly. She isn't. Okay, you really need to be getting to sleep now. Because you're in your daughter's apartment, creeping around like a little, a little creepster. Oh, look, everything isn't loading up. Tucker and Gina were inseparable. They were definitely hitting it off and possibly the cutest couple at the dance. Of course they were, because they are attracted to each other. Willow, what do you think you're doing? You don't need to mop up a puddle right now, but you do need to use the bathroom. Oh no, Channing saw someone else wearing the same tuxedo. That kind of sucks. I mean, it's not like a big crisis, but it kind of... Whoa! Oh my gosh, guys! This is so sad! Um, he's shy, he got in a fight, he's denied for dance, he's hungry, and he's tired. I, I would be like crying. Okay, the school dance has ended. I'm going to go ahead and pick up in the morning, and we're going to have to deal with Channing's sucky mood. Okay, I'm just going to end it right here, actually, because, you know, I mean, they just, there's only going to be like five minutes left of this part. Sorry if it was a short part. I don't really know exactly how long it is, but, I mean, things happen. He got, he's interested in Lashana, who I definitely will be giving a makeover, because she's not looking too great there. And he is, like, in love with... Regina, why are you best? Oh, I didn't drag his relationship back down with Vicky. Whoopsie. Okay. Anyway, yeah, he is, like, in love with Regina right now. I think when he ages up, he's gonna have to get married to Regina. He ages up in six days, because Regina is the perfect person for him. And, oh, we have to show up pictures before I end this part. Duh. Okay, I'm just gonna put his crown on the floor for now. I'll find a better place for it. Looks a lot like the prom queen crown, but it's blue. Okay. Well, I can't drag it back in your inventory right now. We'll do that when you get home. Um, let's put this right here. They, I think they have the cutest prom picture I have legit ever seen. It's perfect! Because, you know, they're holding each other. Normally, like, it gets all messed up. But they look cute. They look adorable. It's probably, like, fall-themed. If I had to guess. And poor Channing... I don't even know if we're going to leave his up because he's kind of hating life right now, but, whoops. Channing, yours needs to go like, right, oh, right, on the wall, go on the wall, please, this is more difficult. Whatever, I'll move it in a better place later. Um, oh, he also has a scouting thing, I want to put that up, I think that would look kind of nice right there. But, here it is, that is so Channing, sassy, rebellious. And cute. Okay, anyway, make sure to subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you all. And yeah. Bye.